Hey, it's Aurelius. In this video, you're going to learn how to convert a PDF into a flipbook like the following examples. This ebook is called Becoming a Content Creator. And as I turn the page, you'll notice that there's a sound effect as well as the page turning effect. So pay attention and look closely. A lot better than static pages that one would normally read from a PDF ebook and guide. So it continues on as you can see. Or perhaps you wanna create some sort of brochure or magazine. Here's one on Venice and I'll flip through it like so. So really interactive. People can play YouTube videos as well right on the flipbook as you can see. And we continuing on to the rest of the pages. Also what's included is you're able to put this Google survey form. And if we go back, even a Google map, all these little elements make your flipbook more interactive. So whether you're looking to create an ebook, a magazine, a brochure, or perhaps a restaurant menu, I'm gonna show you the exact tool that can do this. All right, so the very tool you can use to convert your PDFs into flipbooks is called Hazine. If you'd like to go directly to Hazine, look in the description box below where there's a link to there. Right when you go to Hazine, what you can do is drag and drop or upload your PDF. Now, if you haven't created or designed your guide, ebook, magazine, or brochure, feel free to use something as easy as Canva. And if you would like some tutorials on that, I have a list of them in the description box below. But what you would do essentially is design everything you need in Canva, like the Becoming Content Creator Guide that I created right here. Although this just directly came from a template for demonstration purposes. And then what you'll need to do then is click on share and then click on download. Make sure you select PDF standard. That's all sufficient enough. Make sure you save all the pages unless of course you wanna exclude any. Once you've got your PDF ready, simply drag and drop your PDF straight to the hazing area right here. Wait for it to upload. Once it's uploaded, you'll see a page like this with a preview of your flipbook. As you can see now, it has converted. Feel free to give it a title, a subtitle, and the page effect, whether you want a magazine effect, a book effect, album, notebook. So there's quite a few here. Let's choose something like book. Take a look at what this looks like. And there we go, different kind of flip effects. But what I recommend you do is sign up for a free Hazine account. Now I'll talk more about pricing and plans later on, but essentially if you're going to upload it straight into Hazine without signing up, that PDF flipbook is only going to last one week. So therefore, you're going to want to sign up for an account so that you can save it and customize it, which I'll show you how to do now. Getting back to here, what you can do is share the flipbook. This will give you a direct URL to share with your viewers. And again, if you're just on the kind of uh, free plan where you're dragging, dropping straight into hazing without signing up for an account, this will only last for one week. So if it's temporary, you know, feel free to do that. Otherwise, I'll recommend you sign up for an account. Now, going to customize, this will give you plenty more options in terms of the page turning effects and you've got sounds and audio and interactions that you can add as you can see. So feel free to play around with all these settings. And going here, we've got basic things like adding the title, subtitle, description, uh, the page effect, whether you want the sound on or off. And right here, we've got the different uh, page turning effects. Uh, let's just choose something like slider. And now we'll see the different interactions. So we'll close that first. And now we can see that little slider, kind of like a carousel like this. Here's another example, we've got cover flow, close that. And this is what cover flow looks like, pretty cool. You can also change the background of your flipbook by clicking on background, selecting from one of the royalty free photos right here. You can choose a solid color as well and style it. Of course, you can also upload your own background if you'd like to do so. Adding your logo, we've got different controls as well. So you can choose the following options using the sliders, styling tab, you've got the navigation too. So next previous buttons, you can add background audio if you'd like, simply upload it right here. And this will make it a little more interesting for people to go and, you know, while reading and consuming your guide. Password protection, so you can enable password protection. So only those with the password can read your ebook. The options include password protection disabled, you've got for everyone and one password 
user per user. Going through a few other options, you can capture leads by clicking on capture lead form. In terms of interaction elements, you've got things like enabling links, so one can click it and then go straight there. You can also add images, videos, as you saw in the introduction, audio, and also web. In terms of sharing and export options, you can head to share, and the default is the hosted version. So Hazen will host your flipbook for you, so it'll look like this, something like this, and you can copy the link and then that will be the link you share to your readers. You've got a couple more options. So you've got these pre-made designs for email with the image uh, web so you can embed it on your website as well. There's also the ability to download the flipbook as kind of like a HTML file. And to do this, you will need a paid account. So if you click on download flipbook, it will prompt you to subscribe to a plan. So if you are on a free plan, the only option really to share is using the link and then that will be the main link to share. In terms of pricing and plans, as you saw, it is free. However, it's limited to just five flipbooks. So you can upload five PDFs that is and have five online and you can have unlimited pages in, in each of those PDFs. There's no ads on the free plan, but the only thing is there is a little watermark. So if we head back to one of the flipbooks, you'll see the watermark right here showing hazing flipbooks. So that's the only caveat. Now, of course, if you don't want any of the watermarks and you want full access to their features, you may want to consider one of the other plans. So you can see here, no watermarks and you're able to upload unlimited flipbooks. And one of the other features you may be interested in is the ability to download the actual flipbook. This is in Australian dollars, so I will change it to US dollars. So this may be a bit more relevant to you. In addition, the pricing is based on annually. However, going on monthly, you'll see that the standard is not available. Only the professional and premium are available. And there we go, friends. That's how to quickly and easily convert your PDFs into interactive flipbooks. If this video helped, by all means, give this video a quick thumbs up and I'm looking forward to sharing the next training with you.